Now, Labor MP Andrew Lee has been speaking about the census website. Let's have a listen to that. This has been the worst run census in Australian history. And one of the worst IT debacles Australia has ever seen. Make no mistake, from here, the data from the 2016 census will never be as good as the data from previous censuses. And that's because the Turnbull government has botched their handling of the 2016 census. The date for the 2016 census has been set for many years. They've known the census was coming, and yet they failed to do the proper planning. Even after the ABS had taken down their website, the government was still urging Australians to log on to do the census. That's how incompetently managed this was. Millions of Australians were affected. Millions of hours of Australians' time has been wasted dealing with a census that, whose management was botched. Now, the government's talking about denial of service attacks. Let's be absolutely clear, the first denial of service attack occurred in the year 2000. It was absolutely predictable that a census which had been publicised widely and about which the government had boasted on their uh, uh, data in pregnancy uh, would be the target of hacking attempts. To fail to anticipate those hacking attempts is a failure of the government. Now, I know the government's going to try and blame this on public servants. Very happy to take the credit for the hard work of public servants in striking a trade deal or preparing a budget. But when it comes to something going wrong or a hard decision to be explained, the Turnbull government's first instinct is always to blame the public servants. But we have in the Westminster system a tradition of ministerial responsibility. That says that the minister takes responsibility for the actions of the government. The Australian Bureau of Statistics isn't a charity, they're not a corporation. They are a part of government, and that's why the Turnbull government is answerable for what happened last night, for the time that Australians wasted trying to fill out the census last night. Now, over the course of the last year, we've had three ministers, at least, responsible for the Australian census. As best I can tell, the first two, Kelly O'Dwyer and Alex Horp, didn't utter a peep about the census. The most recent, Michael McCormack, got the job three weeks ago and waited a full week before seeking a briefing from the Australian Bureau of Statistics. He's been dismissing Australians' concerns about the census as much ado about nothing. And frankly, what we've seen today has suggested what a laughable response that is. What needs to happen now is that the Turnbull government needs to take responsibilities for its own failings. Malcolm Turnbull, two years ago, said the real problem with public servants is they don't get over their fear of failure. He said oh, public servants need to have less of a fear of failure. Well, we can see where that start-up mentality has taken Australia last night, as this census uh, caused an utter debacle for so many millions of Australians. Malcolm Turnbull and Scott Morrison need to take responsibility. In the last census, Wayne Swan was the Treasurer and took direct ministerial responsibility for the operation uh, of, the of the Australian census. And yet, Scott Morrison, who's so quick to call others bedwetters, is the bedwetter in chief if he can't own up to his responsibility for the Australian census. There needs to be a full, transparent and independent inquiry into what occurred and what could have been avoided if Labor's calls for better resources for the ABS had been heeded. No less than 14 times over the last year, I've warned about inadequate resourcing to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. Labor was deeply concerned, but the position of chief statistician was left vacant for nearly a year. And so Malcolm Turnbull and Scott Morrison need to own up to what's gone on. They need to answer to the Australian people with a full, transparent and open inquiry. Because if you can't run a census, how can you run a government? Happy to take questions. The Minister insists that no data has been lost or compromised. Can Australians have faith in that assurance, do you think? Not sure Australians can have faith in very much that the Turnbull government says about the census. Uh, but even if it's the case that nothing has been lost, a huge amount of time has been wasted. And the chances of getting the same response rate in the 2016 census 
that we managed in the 2011 census and now We've obviously lost uh, Andrew Lee there. The, uh, the, that's the from uh, the opposition just talking about the census uh, overnight. We heard earlier from the uh, the minister responsible from the census, Michael McCormack, reassuring people that uh, that all the data that was submitted is secure. Uh, but Andrew Lee, they're very critical uh, of the way that the census has been run and operated.